<laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Kimball's Corner. Um, yes. Today, what is that? That is a big piece of wood. More importantly, Huge. what is this? And this is a Bon Maman. Rocky wants to pronounce that. Let me read it. Um, chocolate ole? Chocolate ole? Sables? What are you talking about? What are Sables, we pronouncing? Chocolate ole. Chocolate or ole. I don't know. Milk chocolate. Gonna it's milk chocolate. Not even going to pretend like I know how to speak French. Chocolate ole. Anyway, tasty bits coming at you. All right, I'm going to try it. What are you doing today, Kim? What's happening? <sighs> well, you know, somebody had commented, like, I know, talking to me, they're like, I know you love your sketchbooks and stuff, but, like, would you try working on a different substrate? And I was like, sure. I mean, I do that often with stuff I already have because we move a lot and having to move so many, like dozens of canvases and giant wood pieces and so many other things, it's just easier to keep it in a journal. Also just having pieces of art floating around and not being able to keep them together. Rocky thinks he's funny because he's nibbling <laughs> on his little cookie. I keep staring at Kimball awkwardly as he's trying to explain. See, he, he thinks it's me. awkwardly, but it's just his natural appearance. Wait, what happened here, Kimball? I didn't, I didn't put water in it. Oh, so we don't need water today. That's right. So I'm going to use my Jane Davenport uh, Draw Happy Rainbow Itis Edition pencil. I mean, I personally like it because it's matte, like it's not slick. And I look at it's round, it's very light, and it's rainbowy, but really any pencil you have will do the job. Well, a softer pencil if you want like darker, lighter pencil, not so great on wood because you have to press harder and it can like leave indentations in the wood. Also, happy Mother's Day, everyone. Yeah, for the UK anyway. Mm -hmm. I don't know where else because I know it's not the US yet. Not yet. Not yet. Mm -mm. No happy moms there just yet. Okay, we celebrate that in nope. May. Unhappy today. <laughs> All right. And I also, I didn't know what I was going to draw. So, oh, look, I have my cute little Easter girl on my page. You need to calm down, mister. Okay, you're touching things. Whoops. Things are moving. I, very scary. <laughs> anyway, so I found this young lady, which is very hard to see. I'll just, um, uh, I was looking at Gibson Girls, Victorian era, Edwardian Girls, hairstyles. I've drawn a lot of them already. I have not drawn her, I don't think. And I was going to draw like the wood turned the other way, but it's just too annoying drawing that size. So we're going to try and get her face about here and hair there. Going for a more of a cameo kind of style of thing. Although not because it's not like a little mold. Rocky, what you doing? I'm watching. Okay. There's comments happening. I just wanted to wait for you to stop talking so I could read some of them. Oh, okay. Trisha says, good evening, everybody, and happy Mother's Day to those celebrating today. Maybe UK only. Every day should be happy Mother's Day. Yay. I agree. Moms are awesome. Sadie says, hey, everyone. Hiya. Jenna says, hi, guys. Hi. And then um, Janice says, hey, Jenna. Hey, Janice. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were saying hi to you. She says, hi, everyone. I know, right? Right. And that is the nice thing to say hi back. Oh, my gosh. We met a woman, I probably won't give her name out, but she was lovely. Anyway. We'll Waitrose. just call her JP. <sighs> met her at Waitrose. She was quite nice. All right, so. She likes purple. That's how we're going. Basically, I'm going to sketch it out kind of loosely, add some details, and then I get my blending stump that says three-eighths on it. So that's a thing. And I'll like start blending it out. Add some, I just go back and forth between the blending stump and pencil. Nothing crazy. I'm sure most people... Do the exact same thing. I was so tempted to use this pencil because ah, it smells like flowers and wood. Let me see. It just smells like a really good pencil. Do pencils have a special smell? Well, really like, good? remember in school, you go like go back to school shopping, you get those number two pencils. The ones that, and they had that smell, smell like wood. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to mostly use this image as a reference because I'm going to change some things, but I do want to use it for like how the shading hits her face mm. and hair and whatnot. And I'm going to also change her hair. I'm going to make her hair just the color of the wood. So I'm not going to actually draw the hair. I'm going to draw around it and try and keep the shape. I'm going to make it lighter so you can see it better. See what? Can you see everything? And like, it looked very dark on camera. The, yeah. I don't know why it's picking up really dark on camera. Oh like, yeah. There's more detail. Got it. Okay. Yeah. I'm all. Oh, yeah, that, that'll uh, do it. That'll there, do there it. There she is. That's the one. She's the one that <laughs> I'm going to draw. She's the only one. All right. Jeez, calm down. How are the cookies? They're so good, Bon Maman. Chocolate ole. You know, the way you said that was kind of like, I'm lying, but like in a mm -hmm. nice way. No, I enjoy them. 
for a cookie thing. I mean, you sure didn't. Oh, there's two in a bag. Well, they're kind of thin. I put one in my mouth. Just shove it in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll translate for Kimball while he's eating. The first thing you want to do is draw a line. Mm -hmm. And then make sure that you squiggle it down a bit. Nailing it. Kimball. Yes. What approaches do you typically take when you're working with wood? <laughs> I it depends you on what I'm serious. Uh, okay, well, I haven't painted on wood. I don't think. Terrible. Mm -hmm. um, normally, I use colored pencils, but they just sounds, take so long. Sounds a bit painful, but go on. You know what? Perp, give me a shot. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, normally I use colored pencils, but they do take a long time. But they do. I like. To, I always think it's weird when someone's like, "I'm going to work on wood," and then they just cover the entire thing, and it's like, "What's the, you could paint that on anything? Like paint on canvas, it's easier." So I like to keep the wood as part of the piece somehow. But that's just a personal preference. Well, Denise says, "When I was obsessed with pottery, I used these wood blocks for drape molds for platters." Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, I got this at Michael's. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm. I, I didn't buy it here, so I don't know where else I would have purchased it. But does everyone know what Michael's is? It's art store in the U.S. Michael's Arts and Crafts. Yeah, in the it's kind of like hobby craft. I mean, when we were in the U.S. and I and I was always like, I bought it at Michael's. They're like, I wish we had a Michael's here. <laughs> so <laughs> I think a lot of people do know what it is. Mm. And I agree. You know, I do wish they had a Michael's here, but you make do with what you got. This is not sponsored by Hobbycraft, clearly. Mm -hmm. It'll do. That would be our slogan. In a pinch. Mm. I've been there like twice. And mm. I, didn't, I think... You've been there way more than twice. Okay. Who are you kidding? Three times. And like, I bought a coloring book once. I think it's something I bought from there. I don't mm. think they had anything else that I was actually looking for. So I'm not going to... So in the picture, she has like all this like frilly bang stuff happening. Not going to be doing this. No, thank you. We're going to... <laughs> What? Nothing. We're gonna just not. Um, but I, I will say we didn't. I'll keep the shape and then we'll do shading underneath. So the main shape is kind of like this. We want you to draw her eyes in and stuff and see if that'll help. I don't ever measure things out. I mean, that's not you probably should. I just don't because I'm not too particular. I mean, if I was doing a commission of somebody, I would definitely be measuring everything out and trying to get it as good as I can to look like them. And that's why I don't like that because it's very technical to me and I hate it. So we just do this and we pretend and we hope that it works out. Trisha says, I wish we had those vouchers you always seem to have in the USA. <laughs> oh, I know, right? 20% off. Every time. Or 50% off. And every time you like spend money, they like give you like Michael's cash or like Kohl's cash, which Kohl's is like a department store. But, you know... We were spoiled. We kind of got coupons here. Coupons. They're vouchers, Rocky. Whatever. Which I'm confused because I think on my phone it says vouchers, in the store it says vouchers, and then on like the checkout it says coupons. So, you know, that's a thing. Trisha says, today I have been eating Belgian chocolates and finishing an oil painting. The cat walked over my palate and I had <laughs> <laughs> little oily paw prints over the table and windowsill. Oh, sill. that's cute and annoying. Like I feel like I wouldn't want to cover it up. Right. I would just leave it. Memory. I feel like I'd be like, we don't own a cat anymore. No, not really. I don't know. Mason never really got into my art stuff. Shoot. I feel like Mason was so disinterested in what we did. <laughs> I know. <laughs> she only wanted us to care about what she was doing. Yeah, basically. Just blocking in some of like the uh, harsher shapes. We'll worry about the shading stuff later. I remember a long time ago, we used to go to the hardware store in the US is um, Home Depot. It's kind of like B&Q here in the UK. And uh, we would buy our, we would buy wood boards mm -hmm. that were mainly for construction purposes. I don't even know what they were for really. But I don't either. Cause they were, they were like nice big pine, like, like sanded. three feet by six feet and we'd cut them in half. Yeah. So we used to use those, um, or Kimball used to use those for some art stuff occasionally. Yeah. Memories. Those were the days. And they were, I think I got them because they were only like $5 or something. And I could use them. 
for two giant art pieces. Although I did do a few like really big pieces. One went up for auction and one I think is sitting in the attic upstairs. The woman with all the flowers. It was funny because this morning, like sometimes Jane will do a live, which is like her morning, but then like it'll be my evening. So I end up watching it the next day. So anyway, I, was, I turn it on and she had done one and it started off and she had a big piece of wood like right in front of her. And it's like, no, because now it looks like I'm copying. <laughs> but she, she was like testing out products on the wood. So I was like, oh, thank God. Jenna says, today I went to Home Goods and I found a strawberry side table and a lemon side table. Uh, and fancy. also got a ceiling light fixture that I'm going to try and spray paint neon pink later. Ooh, that sounds, that sounds like fun. a happy week to me. It does. What did we do? We watched Pinocchio this morning, the Guillermo del Toro one. I loved it. I didn't love it. I was, it felt really long. I don't know. I think I just thought Pinocchio was super annoying, which I mean, he's, I guess he's supposed to be like in his naivete, whatever. I was like, you're causing problems, child. <laughs> like, stop it right now. That's so funny because I, when I was working out, I was uh, watching an episode of Star Trek, like season five, something. And it's where Captain Picard's supposed to take these kids on some tour and they get trapped in a turbo lift. And the whole episode's like about them having to like escape this turbo lift and get back to the ship. And I was like, oh my God, there's just too many like kids in today's episode of life. <laughs> um, we don't have kids. But in the end, it was just a touching story of the triumph of the human spirit. Was it though? Yeah. They all got out. Worf Despite helped, his broken ankle. Worf helped some woman give birth, apparently. Yeah. That's yep. what I heard when I got out of the shower. I was like, what is he watching? <laughs> <laughs> As I'm exercise biking. <laughs> I'm just watching people give uh, birth. All right. All that just so I could draw these hairlines. Okay. Hearts Family Art says, oh my God. Hi, Kimball. Hi, Rocky. Cool hi, idea. Hi. Oh, thank you. I mean, it's been done before a thousand times, but I mean... Now I'm doing it, so it's cool. And in reference to what did we do this week, Jenna says, I didn't do anything really. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good week to me. I know, I'm like, that's always a nice one when it's just, it's a nice slow weeks are good. I don't need, I'm going to probably come in sideways with my pencil just so I can get more of an even thing. Because I don't like, I, I like drawing profiles, but shading them. Sometimes the cheeks is such a big flat plane that like, it's like, oh, all gray, whatever. So I'll just do that later. It's not fun. That's not the fun part. So two biscuits is only 138 calories, and I burned off 220, so that means I can have two sets yeah. of cookies. Well, I did get two out for you, Oh, okay. you may as well. No, no. Um, I'm debating if I want, well, because you can't really see her dress in this, so. Oh, I was debating if I wanted to create a border around her, which I won't do here, because that would just be taking forever, because I would have to sit here and stare at it and really think about it. Ain't nobody got time for that. That's true. Ain't nobody got time for that. So true. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. That was beautiful. Thank you. See, this is why you should be doing the sign-off music. Mm -mm. All right. It's tradition. It's not tradition. One day you're like, do it. And I was like, okay. And then you've done it every time since. Tradition. Traditions happen where you least expect them. All right. Well, whatever. Just like... Your lives are like our excuse to eat snacks. I know, right? Oh my gosh, we got these things. The brand is Belvita, which I kept saying Velveeta, which is like this weird plasticky cheese in the States. Um, it's a it's a lovely melting cheese. You might offend people by saying that. I'm sure some people actually really okay, love it. Okay, it's this deliciously Bel orange. <laughs> it's a deliciously orange melting cheese that people use. It's basically <laughs> American cheese in a block form. Anyway, Belvita. Um, the soft bakes. I had a chocolate one today, or was it today or yesterday? Yesterday. Oh my god, it was so good. Yesterday. Like, yum, okay? Delish. Kimber says, yay! Finally able to catch her live again! Hi, Kimber. Hi, Rocky. Hello. Um, okay, gonna draw the shape of her hair, and then later, we'll just shade around it. And then, you know, she'll have the wood-toned hair thing going on. Kim and I are at the age of our lives where when we have free time, we're like, what do you want to do? And we're like, go, Let's to, the go to the garden center. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we did today. We went to Dobby's. Well, the garden centers here are cool. Like, we don't have anything like that in the U.S. that I know of like, anyway. Yeah, usually we have like a garden section on like a, like the Home Depot has a garden section. Lowe's has a, gar like the do-it-yourself well, stores usually have a garden section. Or like there are garden centers, but they won't have like full restaurants and like clothing and homeware things like that like you know all I mean? the like, locally made stuff 
which maybe I they really do like. and we just don't know about it. I don't know. I mean, we weren't. I mean, when we're we aren't big into gardening, so yeah, maybe not. But I, I don't think I've ever really seen. There's like what two nurseries, maybe. <laughs> There was like two in Baltimore that we like went to that were somewhat close. That by. was literally just plants, right? And like some outdoor decor. Right. And it's like, where's the fun in that? Nowhere. Exactly. All right, we're gonna shade in her cheek and medo, nice and light. Make sure it's not a cheek and medo. Yeah. Well, right now it kind of looks like, hey, I forgot to shave. I'm the bearded lady. A lady is a lady. That's fine. Jenna says, Velveeta is good for dip and mac and cheese. That's about it. Yeah. I mean, I've never actually had it. I just, because the consistency looks gross to me. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't like American cheese, and that's what it looks like to me. So. Kimbra says, BTW, Velveeta cheese is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I think I believe that because yeah, I kind of have to because it just looks very unappealing. We've had it before on mac and cheese. It's pretty good. Have we? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't, I don't know. It's Not just any mac and cheese I made. It's mac and Velveeta. I feel like I have a hard time calling it mac and cheese. Yeah. Mac and Velv. Mac and whoops. Hopefully we can sort that out to make it look a little bit more delicate and pretty, but her whole neck is in shadow, so we're just going to... Well, if not, you can just make it a big, like, graffiti-looking piece of art. Just, like, go crazy with color and... Who said that about my artwork? Was that our new friend? Yes. I love, she was like going through some of my stuff on Instagram and she's like, oh my God, I love this one. And she like zoomed in and it was a picture of a neon sign that I took. <laughs> I was like, well, that is not artwork, but it's also, I mean, it's not my artwork. Do you guys ever have experiences like that in life where you're just like going about your business and then suddenly you just like meet someone brand new for the first time and have like a 25 minute conversation out of nowhere? Does this ever happen to anyone else? I feel like it happens to us occasionally. Like we'll just like cross paths with someone and if the situation's correct a lot of times they'll just start kind of talking and we just kind of listen it kind of starts with i love your accents where are you from and then just really goes from there i'm really surprised how many people we've talked to here have family in the states yeah oh. everyone that I've, that I've talked to knows someone that lives in the states yeah it's bizarre because like in the states i don't know anybody that lives here i'm like who I don't know. Do we know anybody? Or like, did we when we live in the States? I don't know. I don't think so. If so, sorry, I forgot about you. <laughs> <laughs> God. Kimber says, yeah, I have that situation several times lately. Jenna says, no, I don't talk to strangers. See me Unless either, I'm but, around. Like... <laughs> <laughs> and I force her into awkward situations where, well, it's more like she's just witnessing it happen, I guess. Yeah. It was funny because... Rocky's like, what do you, how do you, what do you think? Like when people come up and do that? Cause I'm very introverted and very shy. And so, like, when somebody comes up and just starts chatting to me, my first thought is, like, I hope this either goes by quickly or they can carry this conversation because it can get awkward real fast. But the woman really carried the conversation. I, I don't know why. I love it. I, I did, Even if, whatever, like, I, art life is so short. And I think people are so fascinating. I think it's because I want, I want to be sure that, they're, they're, like, a, a relationship will last kind of thing. Yeah. So, like... I'm all putting effort into just talking to somebody <laughs> for one. Well, whatever. It, but it's I, like a stop and go situation. Like, what do you have to lose? Like, you might learn a bit something about yourself or someone else and then move yeah, on. Yeah, that's true. But, Worst case scenario, you know, they come to your house, you realize they're homeless or something. I don't know. Like, what? I don't even know what to say. Those were the days. I thought about using um, a white colored pencil on this, but I don't think it's going it, to, like, it didn't mesh well, we'll say. But we'll see. We'll see where we go. This is only the first pass with the blending stump. I probably really don't need my reference anymore. I wish I couldn't find my other tortillon. Mm. I think that's what they're called. My other blending stump because it's like it's really thin and floppy so it can like really lay flatter than this one's pretty stiff so it's just the tip that I'm working with. But you know. We'll see. We'll make do somehow. It's actually going quite nice over this. I did a whole like, you know, that was my testing on the back. <laughs> That's a pretty, you know, minutes before we that can started. Be backup artwork if this doesn't turn out. <laughs> Kimber says, my problem is I will talk to anyone. That's me though. I will do that. Not me. 
Kim and I are on I mean, the complete okay. opposite sides of like even the astrological scales. Like we're completely I mean, like, different. Okay, I'll talk to anybody, but I won't I won't engage the conversation and then I won't start it kind of thing. That's not true. No, it's not actually. Well, I don't start conversation. I'll make a comment. Like if we're walking through like home sense and I love someone's hair, I will definitely let them know that I love their hair. But like conversation starter. Would I keep walking? Well, that's because most people <laughs> you say it to are probably more introverted anyway. Yeah, I'm not going to like, I love your hair. By the way, tell me more about yourself. No, I'm just like, I love your hair. And then I run away. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really good. Bye. Followed by scurrying sounds. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna, there was actually a woman at the garden center today that I was going to tell I liked her hair, but both times I walked by her, she was in conversation with her friend, boyfriend, brother, whoever it was. But she had like rainbow hair, it was really pretty. She should be like, Excuse me, stop everything you're doing and pay attention to me. Your hair's cute. Bye. Exactly. That's what you could have done. But I didn't. Lost opportunity. Tatiana says, hello, what a lovely surprise. Hello. I've been watching all the replays, but never caught a live. Oh, welcome. We're uh, we're doing this today. I'm going to bring out a kneaded eraser. Yeah, Bonnie says, hello, hello. Oh, hey, how's it going? Mm. Bonnie, Bon Bon, when's it going to change bon to Eddie? Bon Bon. I wonder if you can change your name on there. I don't I don't look into things. I was trying to lighten this. Oh, you mean on face or on YouTube? Yeah. I mean, on I face too. I think you can, but yeah. I already ate my third cookie and I don't remember eating it. Well, she like, see, this is what I hate. Like I can never get like the shading so nice, especially on wood. I mean, I can do it pretty well on paper, but like on this wood. Yeah. Just keep working it. Well, it's like got the texture. Keep so it's working the wood. Okay. You know what? Eat your cookie. I smile am. and look pretty. We're going to go in. My head's high gonna get in frame that's fine you do you we're gonna start darkening it up i don't do real eyes i do like the lash on the back side because it realistically like lashes would be coming in front of her eyeball but i don't like to do that well and what kimball doesn't like you don't get um tatiana says thank you it's 6 a.m in sydney drawing Ooh. is looking fabulous oh thank you is it light in sydney yet or is it like early morning light it's very light here in the mornings now. Like, I woke up today at 6.30, and I was just like, sunrise. I looked out the window, and it was just beautiful. And I was like, oh, I could go upstairs and look out the attic window. But I didn't, because I wanted coffee. Also, when... Talk down, says pitch black. Ooh, really? Interesting. I'm just going to add some lashes on the back end of the eye, because why not? And then her little eyelid thing kind of goes in there. But this part's fun. Like, I use the reference to kind of get the gist of the shading, and then I just come back in and start doing my own jams. I find that to be more fun. I don't want to get too hung up on details of trying to, like, copy the reference perfectly. Mm. I'd rather add my own details, whether it's right or not. I don't care. And also, I like to do like a strong border. Yeah. When I know that I like it. I think you used to do a similar thing when you did illustration, right? Like around the outsides. Yeah. I just like, you know, well... When I used to do like just inked pieces, I would always do like a heavier line on the bottom of things like the bottom of her chin, the bottom of her nose, but because it like helps create an illusion of depth because mm. it looks like there's a shadow on the bottom of objects. But, you know, I just also I used to when I first started doing line work like ink work, I was making all the lines the same size, very thin and precise, and it was very boring looking and very I did a little micron like 0 0.03 pen. Yeah. And I didn't realize. like what a difference adding like different line weight to your ink can do. And so I changed it up and I was very pleased with the results. Oh my God. Have you seen the pieces that Joel's been doing lately? Yeah. Oh, gorgeous. I don't even know what it was for. Was it for, no, it was a, it was a uh, alternative cover for one of the comics. I don't know which one it was though, but it was so cool looking. It was like a total splash page with like multiple people and cars and explosions. And I was like, how? Yeah, every time I see yourself, I'm like, good God. And like, 
the talent is just astounding. And she's so good. If you know Joelle Jones' work, like she does Marvel and stuff like that. Just she's... Google Joelle Jones. Like look up any image that pulls up will be like mesmerizing. She does Catwoman. I love her Lady Killers, her own project. It's very cool. But um, I was getting to like, I was just blown away because she can draw these pieces in a day. Uh -huh. I mean, obviously she's drawing for hours every day. Um, and I was super, it was one of those days, I'm sure everyone's had those days where you cannot draw to save your life. And literally had that, I think it was yesterday or the day before. And I was trying to ink <laughs> one of my coloring pages and I could not get the face. I'm like, I'm literally tracing my own work and I can't do it. I was getting so frustrated. And I was like, well, we're going to walk away from this. We'll come back. I didn't go back that day. We'll save that for when I'm, you know, really feeling good about things. It's taking forever just to do this outline. And he says, so I have an update with college. Oh. So now I'm a student representative. Fancy. And I'm with a lovely lad who lovely. takes care of me. Oh. I now run LGBTQ plus community meetups on Tuesdays. Nice. At the moment, everything is well. Well, that's fantastic. Yay. That is lovely news. Love that. Suddenly, I feel like I don't do anything. <laughs> Whatever. We already lived our whole life. I know. Everything I'm retired. Everything else is just fun. I'm retired now. <laughs> I'm retired from all that work I didn't do. All right. This I'm not this sure. This woman we met at the store was like, okay, so like, what's your like, what's your like, your job, like your day job? And I was like, I'm his day job. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, he is. I work hard for the money. I'm all, I work hard for the honey. But um, what was I going to say? I was so distracted. I'm so sorry. That's fine. Okay, the back, I'm going to shade this to make her hair stand out, but we'll get to that later. Was it about doing things? <sighs> um, I don't know. I just hate the way the shading looks on her face. Got a smaller one. Just want to make the uh, eyelids stand out a little more. Hmm, I can darken up under here a little. Just using the lid that's already there. Like from, Smudge it from her nostril, and then you use your pencil as a drawing tool. It's like drawing with white. You mean your eraser? Yep. That's what you picked I'm up. What you're drawing down. That's right. Um. Yeah, I might just. What was that? That was a phone buzzing. Probably mine. I've got an email. Let's see what it is. It's like some of this wants to erase off her face, and some does not. Which is kind of frustrating. Well, wood grain, am I right? You are right. Ooh, I've got a credit bureau alert. Review all three of my credit scores at once. That includes Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. That sounds like something you need to do right now. I need to know. I trust whatever this is. I want to know what you're thinking. Tell me what's on your mind. Someone was like very desperately trying to break into my company like the other day because they started sending emails out like from like manager accounts, but they were like manager at dot com or whatever. Yeah, just fake. And it, they all went out at once. I was like, amateurs. I'm like, clearly <laughs> everyone's going to start talking about it. Well, maybe they just wanted to be talked about. This isn't working as well as I would. Well, let me show you how it's done. You don't even have to do this. <laughs> I'm trying to draw little wispies or like erase little wispies into her face. Works really well on paper, but not so well on the wood. And he says, I want to quickly say thank you to all the community um, here and Kimball and Rocky. I was never, I never was happy with who I was and uncomfortable with Aww. being trans, but you guys all helped me to love myself. Oh, you're very welcome. Hearts. Hearts. I can't do a heart upside down, but is that, is that kind of looking like one? Probably. Well, all I know is life is short, and the longer we can spend being who we are and happy about it, the better. Agreed. And All for right. people who aren't on board, bye. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> All right. So, kind of wispies. Maybe I'll go back in. Oh, no, if I go with the white colored pencil, it'll look weird. Will it? Yes. Uh, to do just the hair wispies. So with this part. Just shading behind her hair. 
it's easy. It's relaxing. It's for like, it's lovely because I love doing these kind of pictures because it's like you get to do some precision work. You get to do some scribbly work. It's like you get to go back and forth and it just fulfills all of my artistic wants and needs at this moment. Uh, we've all right, calm down. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just very happy drawing. Okay. I love art. Um, Lord. so we were watching, or we are watching, um, a show called, is it at the, the end of the world with you? Mm. And there's one episode left. It's dramatic and a little sad. Basically there's this like giant meteor about to hit the earth and they're like, you have 10 days or seven days or something. So, you know, people are, well, we're just, it's focused on like, um, a former couple who's trying to work things out. They haven't seen each other in 10 years. And then they have like some friends that are with them too, which are also working some things out. And I'm just like, oh my God, y'all had better have a happy ending. I don't know how that's going to happen, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, with that comment going to smash everything, I'm sure there's one in sight. Well, we're wondering if the comment, Rocky brought up a good point that the comment might be tied to one of the character's emotions. Mm. And then one of the characters later in that episode kind of brought that up. And I was like, whoa, Rocky could write this. But he didn't instead. I did not. Yeah. I'm just on the sidelines and observing. Yes. It's, it's always easy. Like whenever you're just like listening or watching something that's already done, it's always easy to like pick things apart and like criticize it. It's always the, the actual coming up with the ideas is the hard part. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that way about music. Like it's so much easier for me to listen to music and be like, okay, this is what's happening. This is what needs to happen. But when I'm writing my own music and like making decisions, that's always much harder. Yeah. We were just talking, I think I just talked about this today. I was just thinking about how it's not like just how difficult it must be to write a song with all of the options that you have, like every little note that you could do with what instrument or what sound. I will say sometimes it's really easy. And sometimes I feel like the more in my head, like, okay, if I'm writing a song and I'm like, I want this very specific sound that takes me forever to find because I have it in my head what I want and it mm. takes me forever to find it exactly. But if I go into it, not really understanding what I want it to sound like that it goes a lot faster because then I mm. just like I accept whatever comes earlier. So I oh, almost I prefer you. those situations. I get you. I think it could be the same with art. Like if you have a very specific notion of what you want when you start and it's not turning out the way you want, it could be frustrating. Right. Well, I mean, that's why I don't like doing um, likenesses of people because mm. it's like that's too um, like mapped out for me. And I like I get upset if it doesn't work out. So if I just use it as like the bass, it's like the melody of the song. And then I can like do all my own little fun things around it. Oh, my God. We're totally like that art couple that everyone loves. <laughs> oh, my God. What are you talking about, weirdo? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just pretend like I'm loved by everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you kind of are. Every time we no. meet people, Kimball's always like the person, like, whatever. They already have like, whatever, okay, Rocky. But then they meet Kimball, they're like, oh, where's he been? That's, well, okay, maybe that's true now. But like in school, no, people, I definitely had people that did not like me. What? And that is so not true. Okay, Kimball, like, there was that, like, there was that one guy that didn't like me or anybody else. There was like all the jocks would like totally pick on not me. Not all the oh, I was gonna say like no, no I was yeah, not no. friends with all the jocks. All the jocks would pick on me and like call me names and stuff like that. And then like Kimball would be around, they'd be like, oh, "What's up, Kimball?" Like yes. they thought he was cool. I was like, "Wow." Well, I was pretty neat. Well, clearly, <laughs> I'm gonna just come in here and add little little effects, just little just, just little plumping. And he says, you guys are the perfect art couple. It's hard not to love you guys. <laughs> oh, thank you. I mean, I am joking when I say that, but I give love where I get love. You mean to me? Well, I just walk away. I'm going to mean back. We accept your love and we return it tenfold. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. Being mean is just seems like so much work. It's so exhausting. And what was I... Damn. It is. What was I watching <laughs> where the guy was like, you can be a dick or you can just be nice. It's so much easier to be nice. And I agree. Also, just adding hair wispies to my heart's desire. I don't even know if they're really showing up for you guys, but they are. Okay. It's like your hair was 
done too well, so we're gonna yeah, mess yeah, up. as much hairspray back then in case it was accepted and move on. I wonder what they did use for like styling and gel products. I wonder if it was like a mix of natural things like honeys and or I don't even know. Molasses. Mm, I don't think they would be putting sweet stuff in their hair. They may have tried that until the bees came. But I wonder if they used like not tar, but like you know, something just gross. Like Well, there's no need to sound judgy about it. Well, I'm sure it wouldn't be used today, like Wispies. We're just gonna wispies. Wispies. So many wispies. Makes me want a cookie. You need a wispy through this big chunk. Oh, is it? Mm hmm. There's a lot of grain. Is it whole grain? No, 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 no. Yeah. Kimmel, what you get with cereal growing up? Um, you mm. can't say grape nuts. Everybody's favorite tooth cracking <laughs> cereal. I never understood how like older people ate that. I'm like, is it because they had dentures and they I didn't care know, about but... their teeth? And they're like, here, try this. I'm like, what? You want me to have dentures earlier? I'm like, yeah, that. That was awful. I mean, I enjoy them, but yeah, it's like a teeth cracking good time. They don't even taste good. They taste fine. What do you mean? Grape nuts are fine. It is. Like, someone got some cat litter and spritzed it with, like, grape What essence. was that cereal that had, like, it was super, we ate it when we were in Portland, Oregon. And it was, like, O's, remember? And it was also really crackly, but it was, like, really nummy. Do you remember this? Uh, oh, you, you ate it. You ate it? <laughs> I don't eat that crap. What was it called? Oh, I think it was called O's. I have to look it up. Wasn't it from Trader Joe's? No. Well. Honey O's. Honey O. They still around. I used to love this cereal. I think it I says to good eat... things in the middle. <laughs> yeah. O's. I think I used anyway. to eat like um like cinnamon toast crunch. Maybe it was one that I liked. I like to make Rice Krispie Treats out of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I loved Rice Krispie Treat cereal when it came out. Did you? I did. I also loved, um, what's another one? Cocoa Puffs, like those ones. But we always had the generic ones that were in like the bags on the bottom shelf. I think I'm done. Is that it? I mean, with her, yeah. Oh, okay. Because um, I couldn't, there's a lot of stuff I can't really get into details with just because it's so textured that like I can't really do like erasing bits and make it look fancy. So gosh, now what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna take a sip of the coffee. Anyone got any ideas? Yeah, just do something crazy with her. Great! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go over here for right now. You know what I could do? What could you do? <laughs> I don't know, I'm asking you. Ugh. Oh, oh my God. What happened? Something popped. I don't know. Are you okay? Oh, we're at that age. Oh no, I just reached. <laughs> Are you okay? What oh, happened? Probably a rib just popping out of place. <laughs> okay. Does it still hurt? Mm -hmm. It feels really nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, just fan up. I'm so hot right now. Trisha says Rice Krispies for me. <laughs> Are you trying to fake an injury to get off this live, Kimball? No, I was gonna try and do a pencil drawing, like the colored pencil drawing on these. But I'll just, I'll try and make it a quick one. Um, I love that yellow one. Yeah, I love the yellow one. Um, oh, legit, what was that? Besides my body refusing to. You want me to come touch it? <laughs> touch your spine? It's not my spine, it's like. You have a rib, you wanna like. You know, one? we're just gonna say that a tendon had to be torn. And that's what it was. I don't know. I like it's not stopping me from moving. It's just weird. I don't know. Okay. It's exciting when you learn new things about your body. Let's try this one. Maybe. Or do you guys want lots of color? Because I feel like I did this one on here last time. I did charcoal. Like like the last time I did these. So maybe that one? Yeah, do the red one. Okay, that's red. Feeling. red. I mean, it's not what I'm feeling. Like, whatever. I mean, we're done. So I'm just... Shit, <laughs> there's all color. <laughs> oh. Well, mm, okay. If I screw up, it's harder to see the mess ups. So. Perfect. Color's great. That's the fun thing about these is that you can't really see I'm the just mess ups. Zoom in a bit. Okay. 
pulling out. Oh, these are the Jane Davenport skincare magic wands. That's all I'm going to be using for colored pencils. Pull these out. Pull some browns, black, pinks, purples. Uh huh. Um, I don't know. Jen is happy about your color choice. Okay. Her her color choice or <laughs> the fact that you brought it back in. It's back. All right, we're gonna make it quick because this isn't like a full-on thing. It's just a little special add-on just for you guys. Um, and you know we'll try and make it twenty minutes, half hour. See where we get with that. If I finish it, I finish it. If I don't, I don't. It's fine. Um, I'm gonna take maybe like a medium brownish red color to start my lines, and we will see. Oh, girl, you sharp. We will see what I can see. Oh, what? Uh, okay. Um, basically, I just need to see if I can see these. Oh, suddenly I'm being interrogated. <laughs> you want me to light in a bit? Uh, let's give her squinty eyes. She doesn't trust what's happening right now. These usually take a little bit longer because, like, I usually stick my face right over the paper to see what I'm doing because it's really easy to, like, lose yourself in the colors. Like with all the pattern. in the music, the moment <laughs> you own it, never ever let it go. Ow. It's like you gotta try, try and shade as you go. It makes it a little easier for me. So if you can't see anything yet, don't worry. You might by the end of this. The other, oh well, I probably shouldn't use white just yet. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let's, change the focus. Let's give her. I'm just gonna give her like dark, dark eyes. One moment, y'all. Um. Let's see. Let's just go in with the black now. Wait, move your hand for one second. I just want to get a new focus. Coffee time. Is... All right, I think that that will do. All right. Yeah, the black will be easier to see too. All right, I'm off to the bathroom. Bye. Oh my gosh, you would like going to the bathroom. It's fun. If you could just like not drink three gallons of coffee a day. We're giving her side eye. She's just very curious what's happening over there. And grab a dark brown. I'm bringing some of these fleshy colors. I love this color. It's the deep contour. It's my favorite one for shading. And I mix it with the purples. It looks quite nice. But I think I'm gonna use like, uh, like browns and stuff for the shading on this one. Let's give her some eyebrows. It's always nice to just be able to use a lighter pencil to get your lines down. I mean, they get lost so easily in the patterns that like if you decide not to use that line, it's not a big deal. But then you can go with like the darker colors such as black to make them stand out a little bit better. How was it, Rocky? And back. How was it? It was fabulous. All right. You have to brag. Just trying to make her eyelids round and prettier. We can also bring the shadow up. I tend to start getting sloppy when I start getting into it. It's just start having a good time. Can't help it. Let's just go. Keep it loose. We'll try gray. That's probably, is that too light? I can probably do a darker gray for the shading. So if you have these colored pencils, you can do the exact same thing I'm doing. And these origami papers, I just bought a pack of, it's like 500 sheets. They're very thin though. So if you press hard, they... They kind of wrinkle, crinkle, and it's like, that's when you know they're just about to give out. Have you had one where you actually like went through the paper? No, but it's gotten very close. Like the paper kind of rippled. The white obviously isn't, like it's, there's a lot of white on the page, so it's hard to see, but I use it to like lighten up the colors. And it creates like a little bit of like a faux depth thing happening. It definitely is working. All right. Da, 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 da. Add some pink for the tear duct area. Mm, th like this part right here is getting very thin and ripply, so I'm gonna probably steer clear of there. 
bring in some skin tones like this one. It's a nice shady skin tone. It's so shady. Actually, let's let's bring in some nostrils and like a nose and the rest of the face. How about that? Mm, about here-ish. Why not? If it's not perfect, that's fine. Her eyes are quite close together, but we're not mad at it. Some people's eyes are like that. People are like snowflakes. Oh my god. Each one unique and different in the world. And so cold. Adding and soon they'll melt and be gone forever. Okay. <laughs> really took a dark turn. Plot twist. Let's add white on the nose. I wonder what ink they used to like print on this. Because it doesn't take the light colors. And like I've tried all the white pencils and this one and the Prismacolor ones are pretty much the same. Do you like the green or the red ladybug better? Uh, where's the red one? Uh, probably the green. It reminds me of this. So when we were kids, we used to go play in this like little canal thingy by our house. And there were these beetles there. And they were so pretty. I mean, I hate bugs. They freak me out. Well, I don't hate them. They're fine. Just don't come near me. Um... But the beetles, they look like jewels. They were very beautiful. And they were very shiny. And basically, my sister had to go poo. Oh. So she did, and she was using leaves to wipe her bottom. And there were these beetles on them. <laughs> she screamed, and we laughed. Oh, my gosh. I mean, they didn't get on her, but just one that she picked up, it was there. And she was like, Bleh! And I was like, ha, 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 don't touch me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, childhood. All right. Getting some shapes happening. Feeling good about it. Need to bring in some kind of skin tone to blend these other colors into, but let's get pinks, pinkies up in the cheekies. It's like subtle, but there. With these ones, you don't really draw the outline of the face very often, do you? No, I'll probably do watercolor for that part. Does watercolor hold on to this paper? Yeah. You have to work it in, though, because the ink repels it a little. Strawberry Dawn says, Woohoo! Caught you live. Hope you're both well. Oh, yeah, we're doing real good. Hope you're doing good. We're doing yeah. fabulous. Thank you for joining. You're always doing pretty good. I've got Rocky by my side. Things are all right. Just all right, though. Yeah, not, not <laughs> swell. Just all right. It's just okay. Here we are. The problem lately is Kimball's like, what do you want to do? I was like, I honestly, as long as you're there, I just don't even care anymore. Like, I just, whatever. Let's just, I don't even care. I'm like, okay, you may massage my legs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then he fell asleep while massaging my legs. I was like, well, this is boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. We both fell asleep. Every time I wake up and I've been around Kimball, I was like, was my mouth open? I was like, just a little bit. All right, we're going to draw the lip, like middle of her mouth where her lips meet. Hopefully, this is a good distance. I want to, she's going to have an open mouth. So these are where her lips are. And then, oh. And then we'll just color this part dark. And those will be her teeth. And then I'll use like probably a brown, like a reddish brown, silky skin for her lips, like the darker parts of her lips. Because there's not really a red in this little colored pencil group. But these are fun. These are relaxing. I like to do these while I'm watching TV. Oh my gosh, Kimball just bought the cutest thing from one of the garden centers. Did you already talk about this? Oh, the bookshelf thing? Yeah. No, I didn't. It's basically like you It's a you put it on your bookshelf and it looks like a, a big book, but it is a scene inside of it. So like, I think you got one that's... Um, it's called like Sunny Days or something? It looks like a little like Market Street alleyway or something mm -hmm. with little cafes and stuff like that, little chairs. Mm -hmm. And there's a mirror at the back to make it feel like it's longer. Yeah, it's cute. And it has little lights on one of the cafes. It's super, super cute. Hopefully when I put it together, it looks nice. 
Kimball was saying he should do a live and be building that. And <laughs> we were like, I don't know how many hours that will actually oh take. Oh my God, it would take so long. But I watched some people, I don't watch them, but I've seen some people's lives where they're like four hours long. And I'm like, what are you doing for four hours? Like, I, I don't think I can keep you guys interested for that long. Also, Strawberry Dawn says, I bought Jane Davenport's food truck layer cake palette. I painted lovely. a landscape I love that one. scene. Nice. I painted a landscape scene with it, and I felt really strange since I associated them with you and your beautiful faces. Oh, well, thank you. I do love the food truck palette, too. Trisha says, Jane's skin tone pencils are my favorites. Yes, they are, they are very nice. I wish all the magic wands were made up of whatever this formula is, because I'm in love. I don't know if it's like... I wonder if it was uh, more expensive or what, because they were done during COVID. So I don't know what the whole story is behind them or anything, but I really like them. Just trying to darken up this. Is it where the little shadowy... blueberry was? Well, it's just the shadowy area. It was very like, it was just like a black line and I want it to be a little more blended out. Oh, I was going to say like, usually my... Like I'm not like I'm drawing on an angle right now, which is a little weird. So I'm hoping like things are looking pretty really good, pretty lines up, you know. Let's give her an outline. Just keep it simple. It's so easy too with the patterns because like you don't have to do much, like just a little shading goes a long ways. It's like, it helps, like, you know, the form is coming out already and I'm not really doing anything. It reminds me of people when they, they're standing against wallpaper with the same color outfit on. <laughs> <clears throat> I've got cookie phlegm. Oh, that sounds tasty and gross at the same time. The gift that keeps on giving. Gross. Oh my God, we went for Thai food the other night and I had a bite of Rockies. And I was like, oh, it's a little spicy because he put like um, pepper flakes all over it. And right as I was talking, like one of the pepper flakes just like landed on my vocal cord. And, and it was, I was like, hey, girl, hey. And I, was like, like, oh, I was like, I'm going to die. And it's like, I was just trying to make conversation. And, like my eyes just instantly got teary. I was like, oh, God, how long is it going to last? Speaking of getting teary, how's your back doing? Yeah, it's fine. Let's not talk about it. Did you pull a tendon? I don't know what happened back there, but it seems to be fine. I've heard that before. Nah. Dirt. <laughs> Just lightening up the pattern a little bit. It's very subtle. Obviously, you could come in with like a layer cake or it makes it look like whatever. glass sitting on top of it, like you built something in glass, and it's. I see. I see where you're going with that. Let's see if I want this because I want it to have more of a skin tone coming. More, down. more. I just watched that the other day. Star Wars. What was it like? Episode nine or something? I don't know. Shouldn't have done on the white first. I should have done these colors first, but whatever. Just because it doesn't, it's really hard to layer on this paper. But we're trying our best. I think by the end of this, there's going to be more colored pencil on the paper than there is paper. You think you're funny? This side's mostly ink, it's like pattern, so you're not really going to see anything. I do need to add, oh, I don't remember what I used for the outline of her. That Poss works. Possibly. Just got to get that temple shadow in there. You have some fancy hair. No. Drew her face a lot bigger than the other one, so. I don't really know how to do her hair, because it's going to be... Maybe she's got a huge crop top. I guess I could have it swoop down like this. Or she'd have, like, the, you know, those bangs that come down like that. It's fine. Um, I don't know, though. Like a Harajuku girl. Because... The hair, she's gonna be she's like leaning her head and like, hey, what's up? What's going on? She's doing um, like a little head bob. Yeah, I do want like a darker color for the shadow under her chin, and then I'll come back in with black just to help her really make that stand out. And little neck tendons and shadows and all those fun things that make tendons a neck. and shadows. Oh my god! And earlobes and earrings. That's not happening. <laughs> Anyway, highlight on the tendon just to make it stand out a little bit. It's very subtle, but it's there. And then I'll come back in with black just to, just lightly to help oomph up that shadow. 
Rocky. Tiana says, thanks for entertaining me on my work commute. Hope to catch you guys again. Oh, you're welcome. Have a good work day. Safe travels and fun work Bye. day stuff. All right. More lashes. More. I realize, like, or I've been noticing, like, on my images, I've been doing a lot less with the lash stuff going on. I might be entering a new phase where I... I'm lazy. No, just calming down the lashes. Oh. Um, Jenna says, I bet between you and Rocky, you could keep us entertained doing a live of building the thingy. For the hours and scene. hours. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Also, I don't know if I really want everyone to see me freaking out, getting frustrated with like, why isn't this working? <laughs> Rocky, fix You it. only see the happy side of Kimball. <laughs> Wait till the dark side comes out. And then you'll be terrified. I'm like, Kimball, today we have no snacks. You're like, I'm done. I hate everything. Well, why do you think I go live, Rocky? Snacks. You might as well just call the show Snacks with Friends. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so for her hair, what do I want to do? I do want to darken up this a little bit. And I'm going to put the pencils away because I think I'm done with them. You should have, like, no ears, I'm assuming, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm like, that's too much work. I um, want this. Shake it off. Shake it off, Kitty. Shaking it down here so it's not loud. Just want to add a little oomph to the eyes. Just a little thumb making go, hmm. Um, I kind of want to add it to the nose, but it's so strong. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off on that. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, watercolors. So should I pick a color from the background or should I just go neutral? I think, I think you should go crazy. I don't know what that means. Um, Bold, vibrant, vivacious. Her hair. Maybe it's Maybelline. So she's going to have like, I don't know what era it is, but they had like that big swoopy doop down like that. I'm just going to create a little shadow underneath. Probably should have grabbed the pencil that I actually like to do shadows with. Where did it go? Where are you? There you are. Hello. Sadie says, oh, wow, looks great. Oh, thanks. This is how long we've been doing this? About 20 minutes? Yes. The first part of the live was paint, like drawing on wood. And then this is part two. This was the wood part went too fast. So we're doing this one now, <laughs> which is also kind of fast. But, you know, the two of them together make for nice content. Am I right? Like and subscribe for random crap. <laughs> <laughs> and Trisha says red for the watercolor. Red for the watercolor. All right, I'm going to go with Ariel from the Brights palette because that's my favorite red in the Jane watercolors. Does she look like she's about to cry because of her bad haircut? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you should be allowed to be with me. I'm just kidding. Okay, I take it all back then. You're, well, you're welcome here. Thanks. <laughs> all right. Just going to say, that's my favorite orange. And that's my favorite red. Although that red is a little purpley. Do I want to go that red? No, it's good. No, no, it doesn't match any of those reds. No, 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 Rocky, you're you're wrong. Okay. <laughs> I do have there's that red, which is much brighter, but it will tone down on the paper. I don't know if there is. I don't really I feel like you need something really bright because I feel like it's not gonna. Yeah, I feel like that's too purpley. Well, that kind of matches that a lot. But that's not like the coolest color on there. <laughs> so should I do Ariel or should I do Apple? Apple. Okay. Hi, let's see you want to do. Apple red was my favorite color growing up. You know the um, Runts apples? No. Um, yes. I do actually. That was like, I wanted a car that color. So that's a really good story. Cute. Let's talk about it later. <laughs> 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 um, that looks like an earring right there, which I'm loving, but like, I didn't give her an earring. Well, just... No, I don't want to. She has two earrings yeah, if they're in the right spot. No, they're not. Because I don't want to. Okay. Um, but I want to do this. Figure out if I do her hair right there and, like, right there. I mean, it's, like, so close to just... Like, if I just basically color the corners, then you'll see her hair. Brush. Oh, brush. I'll put these papers back. Well, not leaning over there. I learned my lesson. Yeah, don't even try... Oh, we'll use this. <laughs> Sweetie, draw me some water. Give me some water. Please. Got it. Thank you. Oh, my God. I love you. Oh, no. oh, my God. Hey, at least the bathroom's right next door. Do you just want this one water or do you want the other one? Just half. That's probably plenty. 
I just need to, because I'm only using one color, so I don't really need to wash my brush. I just need to get it nice and wet. Really? Have I ever filled the water? I, I was going to kind of fill this one up, too, so you could use this. Well, I'm going to jump it in here. Yeah, this will be fun. Ooh. Bear with. Rocky's pouring water. Oh, my. You, you've done this before, I can tell. I have. Notice how not a single drop was spilled. Unlike everything you do down on the stairs in the kitchen. Yeah, I don't know why. Coffee Anytime splats, I'm doing anything, it has splats, to splat. Random oatmeal. <laughs> like, what? What are you doing? Okay, so we're just going to use some apple. And now you have to work. Okay, no, I see. I'm not. I'm Strawberry Dawn says she reminds me of Rachel from Harrison Ford's Blade Runner. I haven't seen that. Want to. Probably will eventually. Is that the new one or the old one? Rachel. Just going to draw in where I want the hair to be. She reminds me of like a character from the Fruits book. Remember that book? The art book? The fashion book? Yeah. Yeah. If you guys ever are looking for really interesting things to like outfits to draw, there's a book called Fruits and I think Fruits 2. Yeah. Really, really cool. Um, and it's just like street fashion, basically. So a lot of times, like right here, the ink is just repelling the water. Just go over it a couple times. And it sinks in. And obviously this is origami. The, oh, the ink on the page. Yeah, the pattern. Um, but obviously this is origami paper, so it is thin. And it is not watercolor paper. So be gentle. Just It'll go. have no choice but to absorb eventually. Yep. And we'll kind of see where this is at. Do you see the hair shape? Is it easy enough? Kind of. I feel like this side might need to come down a bit more here. Here? Yeah. Like come down on the page a bit more. Yeah, just a little bit. And then I might add some orange into that. I love that for her. Yeah. Just because I like orange. And I wanted to like mix it up a bit. Strawberry Dawn says um, Sean Young's version, the old one. Haven't seen it. But someday. Blade Runner. Da -da -da. Now we dry it. I just imagine the paper turning like a shrinky dink. It, is, <laughs> it does wrinkle up a lot when the heat hits it. If you just let it dry naturally, I don't think the heat will do too much. Well, you can always add some or, ice I mean, to it. But I don't think the liquid will do too much. But got a little juicy. Juicy, juicy. I also want to dry the back side. Because like you can see like it gets wet. But the front is still quite wet. I just imagine it like lighting a flame. Why? And then you can do the sign off music real quick because it's burning. <laughs> like another one for the fridge. Beautiful. I'm just gonna dab up the excess. I think the deep red was a good choice because it did fade quite a bit. Yeah. It almost looks like just orange now. Well, I mean the orange just mixed with it, but it's pretty and... though. I think that might be it. I'm tempted to go over lightly white over all of the pattern in the hair. You can just add some like streakies. You won't, it won't be that obvious. No. Like mostly just up here. Like this is pale, pale blue, so you can't really tell, but you can see the flower just fades a little as I stick my hand in watercolor. Should probably get the watercolor off the, uh, excuse me, off my little flat mat. Hold on, there's there's water. Oh. Jana says she's giving the side eye big time. Love the sassiness. Yeah, she's all like, I got my hair did real good. Okay, did you? I don't think so. Okay, hold on, I'm trying to center. I'm trying to center. And centered enough. Um, maybe I'll just do round, just around the bottom. She's got the thinnest eyelashes anyone's or eyebrows anyone's ever seen. Oh yeah, I was gonna actually oomph those up. I just forgot. Thank you for reminding yeah, me. Yeah, man. <laughs> This is seriously so fun. Like, I don't know. It's, it's, I mean, yeah, obviously I added a face like that takes effort, but having the pattern there just takes it to the next level and I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> and this is also fun, like to draw like a little face and like the pattern can be like the shirt or the dress or whatever. Like that always looks really nice. I think anyway. And it says thin eyebrows are making a comeback this year. So it's fitting. Well, you know what? She had them tatted on. 
we're gonna just choose them up a little bit. I'll maybe I'll go like a dark brown. We don't want them to be too It's not the main dramatic. attraction. Although now it looks weird because there's a black line running through it, so. Just a little plumping of the eyebrows. Nothing, nothing too dramatic. She's questioning everything. Why does it look off to me? Is it off? Is one eyebrow crazier than the other? One's just a bit longer, and that's all. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Just gonna lightly jargon. I feel this. like you should add like some pops of like bright colors somewhere. Just like you know, you normally do. Pattern's not enough. No, it's not like, gonna. It won't stand out. Are you sure? No, but this pencil doesn't belong in there. If anything, I would try to do white, but I don't to like calm down the background. But I bet I, if you brought some neon pink and some neon green in there, it would do something. You know what? I could do it with a paint pen because that would stand out more. But I don't really have neon colors. These ones are all pretty. Like your yellows you normally do. Yeah, there is like not really yellow on there. Um, I think I put my neons away, but I do have some yellow. It's kind of hard to find a spot for it. Because I did white, but you just can't see it. Um, try and make it go through diagonally. Bottom of the lip. So it's not. I love that. It makes it really interesting. Super noticeable. Like if you just looked at it, you wouldn't really be like, "Oh, he did a yellow stripe across her face." But watching me, you can see it. I can actually add a little right on the edge of glory. There, yellow going across this way, just subtly. All right. Is that enough? Or do you want more? <laughs> Well, I think that's good. I think we did good tonight. We did. I had a good time. Which one are you wanting to present for the end, Kimball? This is the end, friend. Um, I mean, this one can just rest easy. The other one's easy to pick up. This is what we started with. Let me zoom out a bit. I could actually make a big mistake and have massive regrets later, but... I just don't touch the graphite, it's fine. Oh, did you stop? No. I mean, like, did you stop the the unscrewing of the thingy? Oh, I wasn't starting to unscrew yet. I was just fixing the focus. It's like it makes a big difference, but when it starts mixing with the graphite, I don't like the look of it. And what happens when you try to use, like, colored pencils on this? Oh, it's lovely. But I just, it would have taken way too long. Oh, oh, gotcha. That's why I just did a graphite pencil. But I'm just doing white to do a little bit of touch-ups. But like... So you basically did a wood drawing in, an, in 40 minutes, basically, is what you're trying to do. If you weren't doing this for a live, what would you have done? Colored pencils. I would have, I would love to do the Prismacolor warm gray, the French grays are gorgeous. And I just, like, bring that Marilyn piece over. I can show them what it looks like. Oh. Like normally, like when I do a colored pencil piece, I do them like this. Like that's, I love it. And it was like all the French grays and then reds. I don't remember what I did there, but, and then just white for the hair because uh, I was getting tired. And so I was like solid, <laughs> <laughs> but I love, I love it. It's just, I know that Rocky and I do move a lot. And so having a bunch of wooden pieces to move with us gets really annoying. This one's going in the wood chipper when we're done. Basically. It's going to light a fire. Just kidding. Mm, what are you? I don't know. But yeah. And I could actually, I might fill in all of her hair white. We'll see how I feel about that later. We'll share it on next week's live if he makes any progress. Or it will just, oh, I'll probably post it on Jane's group because I did use a Jane product. But still, if you make any changes, we'll show next week too. Do I want to? Not really. Mm. It's all right. 
So anyway, we're done. Oh, okay. It's finished, Kay. <laughs> Cleaning up because I'm a good person. And down. No, there's no more milk for this. Let me just move everything around. And here we are. Hello. Just cleaning off my brush because Rocky brought, you know, water. It's pretty color. It reminds me of like some weird orange juice. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love a weird orange juice. All right, let's see the piece. So we did that one. Oh, Campbell. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Another one She's for the like, fridge. Look at that. And then, ooh. obviously we did that one. Oh, that. Campbell, we need a magnet. Gonna, it's going to uh, make that fit the fridge. I am going to do something more with this. I don't know what. I might do like a gold border or something. I don't know. Campbell's going to get crazy. We'll show you next week on the live. It's not going to be this time. It'll be, I'm just going to stare at it for like a month and be like, what does she need? Okay, we'll show you when he does something with it. I don't know. That's that. Perfect. Well, thank you all for hanging out with us. I had a good time. I hope you had a good time. Um... Rocky, is there any final words that you would like to I say? I was just thinking you sound like the gay Bob Ross just then. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Um, oh, happy little friends. No, I just hope everyone had a good time. Thanks for joining us. We love you guys. And uh, true words. hope we all continue to inspire each other. Truth. Da -da -da -da. Um, yeah, I didn't even finish my coffee. I still got a sack of cookies to eat. I was like, oh, where are you going with I that? Am... Set. A sack of something. All right. Drawing on the wood. No. All right. <laughs> okay. Rocky was like, I can just lay across the table and you can paint on me. I was like, okay, I don't think so. But well, he was like, come up with ideas for things I could draw on other than paper. I was like. And I was like, stupid me. I should have said, come up with good ideas. Oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, well, next time you'll know. All right. Anyway, thank you all so much for hanging out with us. I do appreciate it. I know you can do whatever else right now. But you're here with me. Who can't speak very well. <laughs> um, <laughs> like and subscribe, subscribe for more quality uh, content. Also, I've had people tell me that I should set up. First, it was set up like a Venmo or something. Because like there was like a weird thing with sending money on here. And I just felt weird about it. Because you know, whatever. I don't like talking about money. But I've had people talk about it. Or ask about it. So there's a thing I'm sure you all seen. It's called buy me a coffee. Should I add a button to that? It seems weird. That I'm asking you. <laughs> should, should I put a button on there so you guys can give me some money? <laughs> That'd be great, right? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> See, it's weird. I know. I should just whatever. I love you guys. We'll just we'll chat and draw and eat snacks next week. Perfect. Okay. And then we might add a link to the buy me a coffee thing. I think it's just a button on the page. I don't really know how it works. Well, okay. Kimball will figure it out. Maybe. He knows technology. All right, Beep, Campbell. Boop, 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 boop. Which one are you doing sign-off music for? Can you have them both talking to each other? There you go. Perfect. Oh, see, she's like, I need to tell you something. She's like, what? All right. Well, you can just have a conversation instead of sign-off music. Go ahead. Okay. There was more comments, but we... you. Agree I'll read them. them as you're doing it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Have a super week. Hey, pattern girl. I got something to tell ya. Shut up, black and white girl. I'm fine with who I am. I'm a clever girl. Rocky tooted. Bye, everybody. It's been <laughs> fun.